I'm just going to start off this video with saying that this figure totally caught me off guard. And I can say that Echo, as a clone trooper character, has two spots in what I consider the top five best Black Series clone troopers. The ARC trooper and this one. These figures are fantastic. This, this Echo is my favorite Bad Batch clone, easily. He's my favorite Bad Batch character. I mean, it's Echo. I think this figure is phenomenal. I think it's almost flawless. I don't really know if there's any paint inaccuracies or anything. I haven't really studied this armor. Like, I've studied, you know, the 501st and Shock Trooper for, like, 16 years. <laughs> but I can say that from what I see, I love this. It's very good. I had to fix, like, one thing about it. But other than that, this Black Series Echo from the Bad Batch is top five Black Series clone troopers. Easily. It is great. This is so nice. I highly recommend it. And once you have all the Bad Batch, it looks pretty great seeing Echo alongside him. So, let's just get that out of the way. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I have him here. Let's just do it. So there's Tech. Here's Wrecker. For some reason, I, have, I had him posed on the shelf like holding the knife behind his back. Wrecker's such a big, chonky figure. I really like Wrecker. Too bad he was just way overpriced. <laughs> here is... Hunter, awesome figure, and I'll just put in Bad Batch Cross here. I'm not going to worry about the, the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the Imperial one. And, of course, got to put in Omega. There we go. So here's the team, like, before Crosshair left for, like, that short little time where, like, Omega and all of them, it wouldn't, they were all kind of together. Yeah, man, look at that. That's pretty nice. I do have to say... I feel like when you get the whole team together, tech really stands out like a sore thumb almost because all of them are dark gray except for tech who's light gray. It's, I, I don't know. I, I do like tech's armor, but I feel like aesthetically, you know, all these four just are like made for each other. And then tech just stands out so much, <laughs> like especially having him off to the side. He, he just color wise doesn't ma mesh as well as he could, but these figures are great. Uh, I really love the Republic Commando body mold that they have with Hunter. Uh, I consider Boss top five Black Series clone troopers. I know most people don't, but <laughs> like that's a that's a mold that's top five. This Echo's amazing. Uh, Tech's good, except for I feel like he really needed like the clear visor. Um, Crosshair is really good. He definitely needed the the paint of the you know target on his helmet and wrecker he's really nice he's just way overpriced for being a deluxe and omega was surprisingly good so honestly this is a very solid team of figures let's just hope that we get them in vintage collection at some point i feel like hasbro just needs to not beat around the bush they just need to release them all as a big multi-pack don't don't release them individually just don't make it like the pulse con exclusive pack or whatever just please i don't I don't want to have to worry about waiting another two years to build them in TVC or something. But yeah, really love this team. Really like them. Let's take off their helmets. You know, let's take off their helmets. Let's take a look at all of them without their helmets. Let's just do that. Why not? Why not? So yeah, all of them have really good head sculpts too. And we'll be able to see Echo's head. Definitely Tech looks awful without the goggles. Don't know what they were thinking. Uh, but also, this gives me a chance to show Echo, since this is his review. Um, <laughs> you can see he actually has a little lasp. Lasp. Latch is the word I meant to say. What is a lasp? What is a lasp? I feel like that's something, but I don't know. It has a latch right there on the helmet. And you can just kind of peel it off. And there's his head sculpt. That looks really good. I say is it's kind of out of focus for whatever reason. But yeah, they're there without the helmets. So you can see really nice head sculpts. Uh, you can see they're all definitely similar looking. Uh, I feel like just Echo. One, one thing I gotta say, I'm surprised Echo is still so pale. I understood him being pale in the Bad Batch arc of the Clone Wars because he was very malnourished and very like on the br on the brink of death. But after being like nursed back to health and like repaired and everything, I'm surprised he's still pale. <laughs> but whatever, I guess that's just his skin tone now. 
it's all good. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really cool team. I really do like seeing these figures together. The Bad Batch really did grow on me. I don't like them more than Delta Squad. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I think they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool. And I like seeing all these together. So... With the first half of the video basically being a Bad Batch overview, let's just talk about Echo now, because after all, this is his review. So let's get all these helmets back on. There's Hunter. You know I had to do this. Here's Rika. There we go. There's Rika. Then here's Crosshair. Crosshair. And then Tick. And then, last but not least, Omega. So... Here is Ikai, right here. Here's our boy, our special boy. And I do have to say, this figure is just superb. So I love the head sculpt on this. You can tell it's Tamor Morrison if he uh, didn't take care of himself or was held prisoner for like a year or so and being tortured. Uh, <laughs> it is pretty cool. I do like the, the Lobot looking computer he has. Even though it's not like an in, like a... It's not like a, I guess, an implant like it is with Lobot. It sits over his ears. He still has ears. Uh, it's just kind of like a, an overlay instead of like an implant. But yeah, it looks really cool. They got the little knobs there. That looks nice. The torso, I love all the little scratches and things. I do wish this design of Echo still had the hand print. I understand why he just kind of decided he could just move away from that. But I don't know. I, I do kind of miss that hand print right there. Uh, I just think the, the armor design is really cool. I love how they add all the little sculpted scratches and things. You can see he's got like mechanical knees. He's got like the uh, the hinge right there. But it's basically just like a, a, a knee pad that goes over the knee. He's got like more basic clone armor for the legs. Which is, you know, it's, it's clone armor. Uh, he does have his mechanical arm. Which looks really nice. I definitely do like that. And he does have an attachment for that, which is odd, but I'm sure it was probably concept art. Uh, he does have his pistol, which is nice. And one thing, too, I love when a figure can do this. He just, here, let's get his helmet back on. Basically, helmet, undo the, the lasp. We're going to use that as a word now. And you do have to, like kind of get it situated properly and then you can close it i've seen some people they don't have it fully rested and they're like oh i can't really you know move the head much and uh they don't have that fully lasped that's a word now <laughs> but i love a figure that can do that they can draw their own gun that's just so cool like i just i just see this figure like i think it looks so cool in stop motions or something you just have him walking around then he sees something then he's like whoa that just looks so cool now the only modification i had to make he does use the traditional clone trooper hands and for whatever reason the left hand on most black series clones does not have a separate trigger finger so i had to take a little knife and shoot uh, because otherwise he would hold the gun like this, and that looks awful. He only has one hand, Hasbro. Just make just make the hand normal, please. It's like a totally new sculpt. Just do the new hand. Come on. He just has one hand. He can only shoot with one hand, Hasbro. He needs the trigger finger. Come on. Dude, I just love his helmet design. It just looks so cool to me. Man, this guy's just so cool. <laughs> I love this figure. It's so nice. He does have the backpack, too. You take that off and he has a unique back armor. You can see, yeah, looks cool. Looks cool, I'm digging it. He's really nicely articulated too. The head motion is pretty much the same with or without the helmet. I've noticed though, if you move the head up, uh, the helmet comes unlasped. <laughs> so definitely have to keep that in mind if you move the head like drastically up. But yeah, good head articulation. Shoulders, the shoulder pads are separate so they can go over. And I love the red striping, too. I think that's really cool. Elbow has a decent bend. In and out on the wrist, though, which stinks. Come on, Hasbro. It's his only gun hand. Come on. Uh, but this arm, you just have a bicep and a, a hinge for the arm that does go both ways because it is, you know, a robo arm. Torso is pretty good. Legs are pretty good. You can move him out surprisingly far given how he has a, a comma. You can see, though, it is kind of like drawing it down a bit which is interesting. It's drawing it like, you know, below the belt. 
Uh, you do have the knee, but of course the knee pad, because of how they design these now, isn't going to be lined up with it. I really feel like the knee pad should be attached to the lower leg instead of the upper leg, but it's just, it's Hasbro being Hasbro. And the ankles are pretty standard, six inch clone fare. So he's pretty articulated, he's pretty cool. He does come with that one odd accessory though. He comes with this claw. It's a claw. You can remove this as well, and it can be like a gun. Uh, so that just like goes over the arm. Now he has claw. That's interesting. Now this isn't something we're totally, you know, like not accustomed to. Uh, Echo did come with the claw with the Mission Fleet figure. This is something we've seen before. So what that tells me is that this was probably something cut from Bad Batch or concept art or something that he used, but we just didn't see him use. Uh, I do think it is pretty cool though if you take that off it almost just looks like this big old like Cobra Bat cannon. <laughs> that just looks super sweet. I do like the idea of Echo having these interchangeable arms. It really does give him like a Cobra Bat vibe. If you don't know Cobra Bats, they're a G.I. Joe character where they have like, they're a robot. They're basically a battle droid. And you can interchange their arms to give them different weapons. And I think that's a pretty cool idea for Echo. I hope we see more of this in Bad Batch Season 2. Which that should be coming out like this year, right? Shouldn't Season 2 be coming out this year? I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm excited for it. I hope we see Cody. That'd be cool. But yeah, this is this figure is nothing short of an absolute winner for me. Uh, this is definitely the best Bad Batch clone out of all of them. He just looks great. He feels great. He's got so much cool detail. He's so awesome. I cannot recommend this enough. <laughs> he is so cool. If you have the rest of the Bad Batch, you need Echo. Uh, this wave is just starting to hit stores and is starting to ship out. I got mine from Amazon. Uh, so if you ordered from most places, hopefully you'll get yours soon. It's a really cool figure, man. This is just, ah, so good. So good. This is, so basically I have like a preliminary list of like, oh, what are like my top figures of the year? I keep a list and this guy is on that list. So we'll see if he makes top 10 action figures of 2022. Fingers crossed he does. Uh, I, honestly, if he doesn't, then I'm excited to see what replaces him. <laughs> because this figure is outstanding. And I love it. And I cannot recommend it enough. Alrighty, guys. There we go. Thank you so much for watching me gush over this Bad Batch Echo. <laughs> uh, special shout out to the patrons of Patreon. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. I genuinely appreciate it. I just made some changes to the Patreon. If you want to check that out in the description below, I would love the support. But I love all the support I get. I absolutely love all you guys. Alrighty, there we go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.